Hello and welcome to Algebra. Today we're going to continue with our geometric sequences. Now these formulas are a little difficult to deal with. Uh, the recursive formula is talking about what happens over and over. It's recurring over and over again. The explicit tells you specifically what you need to look at. Now this looks crazy, but basically it boils down to two things. Do you know the common ratio? Do you know what you multiply by each time? Also, do you know the starting value? Do you know where it starts from? So the starting value, if you know that, if you know the common ratio, then you should be able to figure out the rest from there. So the recursive formula splits it into two parts. First, where you start. Then it says what you multiply by each time. The explicit formula says you start from this point and you multiply by the same thing each time. So the recursive splits it into two. Here's where you start. Multiply by this each time. The explicive puts it all together. If it's hard to remember which one is which, this one's longer. This one has one more letter. This has nine letters. This one has eight. So the shorter one has shorter letters. The longer one has longer number of letters. So for example, if you had 3, 6, 12, 24, just something basic. What you can do, again, I'm going to look for the starting value. The starting value is 3. The common ratio, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 24 divided by 12 is 2. So if you have these, you can do both formulas. So the recursive formula, you just state, hey, you know what? You start off with 3. To find the nth term, take the previous term, n minus 1, the one before it, and multiply it by 2. That's the recursive formula. The explicit formula, to find the nth term, start off with 3. And multiply it by 2 each time. And as weird as that looks, this is the recursive. And this is the explicit. And honestly, when you have something that's a little unusual like this, the best way to practice is just to practice it over and over. Go through, take a couple of examples, work them, rework them until you can get the hang of it. Okay, it says rewrite, uh, excuse me, write the explicit formula for each geometric sequence. And you remember, we've got the recursive, we've got the explicit. Well, this one's longer. That's the recursive, so I do not want the recursive. I want the explicit. So the explicit formula, I need to know the starting term, starting value. Starting value is 2. I also want to know the common ratio. The common ratio, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. So that's my common ratio. So we're going to take whatever the nth term I want is going to be 2, that's where I start, times that common ratio, which is negative 4, to the n minus 1 power. I'm going to put that in parentheses to make sure that you multiply that negative over and over again. So that's it. That's the explicit formula. Now, write the recursive formula. Remember, recursive, longer, explicit, shorter. I don't want the explicit this time. So I'm going to separate it into two parts. My starting value is 2. And the common ratio, 6 divided by 2, is 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 54 divided by 18 is 3. So that common ratio is 3. So a sub 1, my starting point, is 2. Then, if you want the nth term, take the term right before it. So, for example, if you want the fifth term, or even the fourth term, a sub 4, 54, equals a sub n minus 1, the one before it, 18, times 3. 
So it's just telling you what to do over and over and over again. And that is the recursive formula. So it just depends on which one you want to do, whether you want the recursive or the explicit. If you just want to know what you do over and over and over again, that would be the recursive formula. It tells you where to start, then it tells you what to do over and over and over again. The explicit formula tells you where you start and what to do over and over again, and it's going to pinpoint a specific value. If you want to generate a sequence, if you want to generate a, a bunch of these uh, different terms, then you probably want the recursive formula that tells you where to start and what to keep doing over and over again. If you want a specific point, say 30 terms from now, you probably want the explicit formula because that's going to pinpoint one specific point. And that will do it for geometric sequences. If you can memorize these formulas, then you've got a leg up. If you can't memorize these formulas, it's going to be very, very difficult. But again, I would color coordinate it so you know what specifically it is you're looking for. Um, the green and the red will really help. Of course, you could use your own colors, but that will help for you to understand what's going on.